Hi, I'm just me. And I'm Ral Gash. And we are here with January's Tokyo Treat. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> so you may recall last month when we found out that they no longer had the little booklets. And we're horrified because we couldn't find it on the website either. Turns out that it is on the website, or was, because we were just early. So it was there. We were just not when we were there. And um, there isn't going to be a booklet in this one either. But there will be one in February because we need the booklet. We all love the booklet. <laughs> So, this may be candy roulette, but next month we'll have at least half a clue, theoretically. I'm just going to the website now to see if I can find the list of snacks in January's Tokyo Treat. January 2018. The theme is New Year Party. That makes sense. <laughs> see if I'm what's in it. Some stuff, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So it is on the website. Yeah. Are we okay. going to bother with it or just... Um, we'll have this handy. Okay. It's a card! Ooh. That... Welcome to the Tokyo Treat family. I think it's a promo. Ah. I think it's a promo. Giant bag of... Oh lord, giant bag of... These! Okay. <laughs> Ariel Rich Cheddar Cheese Flavor. It's like A-E... Yeah, area rye ale, rich cheddar fla cheese flavor. Well, anyways. Oh, it looks like a weird puff pastry, but not white. That's so bizarre. Smells good. Mm-hmm. Corn chip base. That is very good. I like that. It's got nice crunch to it. Nice airy pockets. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's a strange shape but a familiar taste, you know? Yeah. It's really good. It somehow tasted healthy. Smart pop the yeah, smart pop um cheddar Popcorn. Mmm. Kind of like that. Yeah. But more of a cheddar flavor. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Should I hold that up? Sure. Porinky Corn Snacks. Oh, what are they called? They look like, um, shreddies? Is it shreddies? Checks? Mmm. 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 That familiar corn snack taste. I love it. This is like the corn pottage thing taste. Mm -hmm. I really like it. Yeah, me too. It hasn't been disappointing so far. I never is. How bizarre. 
It looks like an ice cream cone. It does look like an ice cream cone. I'm just going to splice you finding yeah, that with that on. thing. There might be more than one. Caplico mini iced cream flavored snack, and it shows three of them. That's probably just the um, possible flavors that you could get. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not sure I actually got a complete half. Oh, it looks like there's chocolate in there. Hmm. <gasps> looks like an air of a bar. A bubbly. <laughs> Mine's almost all chocolate. Mm. It's really good though. Mm. I'm loving this. Mine's a milk chocolate with like just a basic, um, like wafer cone. Yeah, it's really it good. kind of reminded me a little bit of Neil Paul ice cream. Mm -hmm. With a nice smooth flavor, without the coldness. I would buy that if I saw it again. Oh, it's tasty. It's our DIY! Yay! Every Tokyo Treat Premium comes with a DIY kit and a beverage. We do the DIY kit and taste the beverage in a separate episode. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So it's a slime jelly DIY kit. With a late on the trend slime kit. So that's cool. Watch that. Fish. <laughs> I still haven't found it. Oh, there are red snapper cracker. It looks like a flat goldfish snack. Well, I mean, not this one. This one's kind of twisted. But... This one looks more like a goldfish. And we snack good smiles back until you bite their heads off. It's like a rice cracker. With a taste. I'm not sure what that is. It's not bad, but it doesn't seem to be good either. I'm not sure what it is. It's it might be fish, some kind of like fish sauce. It might be fish. Yeah? If it is, it's light enough that we're debating whether or not it's fish. Yeah. I wouldn't go out of my way for these, but I'm gonna eat these. These are, these are food. That's big. I think I know what those are. I mean, I don't know what they are, but I think I know what they are. Sure. Oh, oh, this will be our um, party pack or whatever. So. Honestly, Crunchy Tok Panda Party Pack. Tokyo Treat revamped, and now they're more everything. So this is a party pack, which means that there are a bunch of packs in here, not just one. And there's a 
like a share pack or something, whatever that means in here. And, and the gashy pack, and it's just, it's crazy. Crazy the amount of stuff we get. Probably oh, pick your own. A little packet of cookies. And by little packet, I mean. And it shows little cartoons on the backs of them, too. See? Huge. Mm. They kind of smell like vanilla. And like chocolate. Oh, well, that'll be why. It looks like it's white chocolate and milk chocolate put together. And then on the back of it, you see a wafer. And it's starting to melt in my fingers. Okay, what is your panda face doing? It's just, just existing? Yeah. Because this one looks like it's had its mouth duct tape shut. By the U.S. Or something. It's just strange. That's strange. Or maybe I'm strange and reading too much into this. Eat the cookie, just me. <laughs> no, I'm going to eat them after we're done. <laughs> I like them that much. They're very good. They're nothing like spectacular. Just the white and dark chocolate in a cookie. I really like it. But then again, I, th I like things with white and dark chocolate. I mm -hmm. like Kinder Eggs and stuff like that. It's really good. Ta-da! Ramenade! Oh my god, there's so much ramenade. <laughs> ramenade soda candy share pack. Ramen is my favorite candy, but it might actually be my favorite candy. So I don't know. Are these these are flavors? I like grape. I like orange. But they look like they're mixed flavors. Weird. So it doesn't really matter. So I will give you this dog thing. <laughs> you tear it off, and it looks like that. Just a little pressed powder on my tabs, like a rocket or a smarty. Except it is not a smarty. But anyway. Mm. Mm. It's so melty. Mm. Yeah. I couldn't help but crunch it. It was so good. I think that one was strawberry. Mine was orange. I always feel like we should describe things more. Like, I don't know, melty and crunchy if you crunched it. And, oh, we've had these before. I love these. Oh, I don't remember them. I don't know if we've had them in this particular. Yeah, we have. We've had them in this way. Huh? They're little hard, soft slash candy things in green grape or a muscat. I, I don't know if I'm actually saying that right. Mor Moranaga High Chew Premium Chardonnay. It's Chardonnay flavored. Same thing. It's a little bit chewy. 
After a little while, you can kind of taste like an alcoholic taste. I still mostly taste the grapes, though. It's chewy. Definitely very chewy. But not like a taffy kind of chewy. Like, it's not sticking to anything. It's just... Chewy. Unlike my hair. <laughs> it was quite pleasant. I liked it. But, um, it's the Umaibo. Pizza, pizza Umaibo. In every Tokyo treat, you're guaranteed an Umaibo. It is a round corn snack thing. This one is pizza flavored. And I love these things. I do not need to taste the pizza flavored. It's like a big cheesy, like a cheese puff, but like long and in different flavors. Can I borrow the scissors? I'll take a bite and describe it. I love these things. Oh, I'm drooling thinking about it. I don't not like them. It's just... Oh, it's been I've crunched all up. This. <laughs> that happens quite often too. They're always broken or whatever. Corn snacks break easily. Yeah, because they're very fragile. Okay. Mm. It has a coating on it which gives it the pizza flavor. And then, of course, you got the corn on the inside, which is soft and malleable in your mouth. And I think it's great. I didn't finish this at the end of the video. <laughs> it's true. At the end of the video, we just sit here eating. <laughs> yeah, we do. Ooh. Oh, these. We've had these before. The Koala's March? Is that what they're called? They're little koala cookies. Koalas. Koalas March Kinako. Ooh! Kinako! Kinako! I know that word. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually having this discussion, was it yesterday? Yeah. Talking yeah. about how I know like individual singular Japanese words. <laughs> Kinako is one of them. It means soybean powder. I like soybean powder candies. Oh, yeah. Is that the stuff? That's the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> koalas March Koalas are little cookies, and they have adorable little koalas on them, all doing different things, and they are filled with, again, different things. Usually chocolate or strawberry. I think they're vanilla ones, but I haven't ever seen them. Oh. I saw custard ones. Oh, boy. Mm. You always feel a little bit gypped when you bite into them, but the flavor is enough. Yep. Mm. Very well done, whoever makes these. <laughs> the cookie's really crunchy, but not like... brittle. Yep. Mm. And the Kanako is like... peanut butter's baby brother. <laughs> yep, yep. Absolutely fantastic. Ow! Which one you bit with these bastards? It's lemon flavored. Vitamin C charge gummies. Now we got some chewing to do. And then there's also one of the random words that I recognize. Not spoken, although I think it's pronounced lemon in, uh, in Japanese too. But written, written down. They are cute things that like written down. sour, mm -hmm. but not like hug your lips cry kind of sour. Mm 
they're chewy but not excessive. Softer than those wine gums from the British candy episode, but not as chewy as like these. Mm. I really like the burst of flavor in that gummy. Mm -hmm. That was good. That was awesome. Oh, it's Mario. I think it's chocolate wafer. Yeah. Are we going to eat the chocolate wafer? Sure. Why not? Oh, wait, no. It might be. It might be a chocolate bar with crispy. Super Mario bits. chocolate. So, yeah, it's like a little chocolate bar thing. Big piece, little piece. Big piece. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you noticed, but there's there seems to be little crispies inside of it. I think those are like rice or quinoa crispies. I don't know. I really enjoyed that. It's like a medium chocolate. It's not like dark, but it's not. Mm -hmm. The, like milk chocolate that we have here. Yeah. It was really nice. I like those the slight bitter bitter taste along with the corn crunching away and breaking up the monotony of the chocolate. Mm -hmm. It was nice. Yeah, those little crunchy bits are really good. Mm. Mm. There only seem to be two things left. Bring the the drink item. There we go. Da okay, now this, where did I see it? Hokkaido Design Coca Cola. In every Tokyo treat, you get a DIY and a beverage. We do those in separate episodes, so subscribe so you can watch us taste this. Yep. See if it's like the Coke we have in Canada or if they've done something different with it. It says original taste, so it should be the same. Oh, okay. This is a really nice bottle, though. Yeah, that is a nice bottle. Mm -hmm. It's actually more like a can. Yeah, it's like, okay, we'll, we'll get into it when we do the other episode. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, cream rusk, it says on it. What's a rusk? I don't know. Let's find out. Cream rusk snack. That's all it says. It doesn't smell like toast. It smells kind of like cake. It does. And the two sides are different. Did you notice that? Oh no, it's covered in white chocolate, yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's just like a little cookie. Hmm. It's really fluffy and airy and crunchy. And this white chocolate or whatever is there, I guess. That wasn't bad. No, it wasn't too bad. It's not something I was crazy about, it, though. Mm -hmm. Kind of dry. Yeah, that was part of the problem. <laughs> Well, if I'm going to run out of tea, it might as well be now. That was all the beverage thing. 
All right, we got through it and we're still intact. So this was January's Tokyo treat. Well, like I said, next month we're getting the booklets back. I appreciate a company that actually listens to people. Because, like, it happened, and a bunch of people were like, no. So they brought it back. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I really appreciate that. So like this if you like this. Comment. If you comment, I'm going to try to either like or comment back. Probably like. Oh. So subscribe for new <laughs> videos Mondays and Fridays. Hit the notification button because sometimes the internet lets me upload early. And don't forget to share any videos that you find are interesting. Join us next time when I actually know what's happening. I am finally, finally, finally going to review Barry the Rabbit. She finally <laughs> finished it. In all fairness, a bunch of holidays happened between its release and now, so... Don't blame me. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Don't blame me. People would do that before. Do people ever... Did they ever do that? <laughs> was that ever a thing? Bye. Bye! I guess they've stopped with the special item. I feel like we should describe things more, like, I don't know, melty and crunchy if you crunched it, and ooh, we've had these before, I love these, ooh.